Hi, I'm Brett Larkin and welcome to the 18 day yoga challenge for your body and soul, which I'm hosting with Yoga Outlet. Today's inspiration word for our challenge is joy. So this is going to be a quick heart opening sequence. We're just going to be calling in joy, cultivating joy. What are simple things that you can do in your day to day life to cultivate a sense of meaning and joy? For example, I'm going to remember at the beginning of this class to um, light some sage and we'll have this at the top of the mat as we practice. I wish you could smell it through the screen. So we're going to start right in downward facing dog. So come right into your dog pose. Make sure your fingers are spread as far apart as possible. Just begin pedaling through the legs to begin warming up the body. And as you pedal through the legs, just see if you can really give the toes a nice stretch. So bend the knees super deeply, kind of almost like you're going to roll over the toes in slow motion and then roll back down through the ball of the foot and press the heel down and then do the same on the other side. Just nice little stretch for the toes. And then another thing that always feels fun and joyous to me is just in your down dog, I just want you to rise up onto your tippy toes and then kind of twist your hips to the right and set your heels down to the right so your feet are parallel to the front of the mat. You just get a side body stretch press, especially through the left hand. Good, and then come back up onto your tiptoes. Exhale, drop the heels over to the left so the feet are parallel to the mat, to the front of the mat. Mm, press through the right hand, big side body stretch. Good, come back to center. Inhale, rock forward to your plank. Mm, exhale, pull the navel up and back, downward facing dog. Good, inhale, float forward. Plank pose, use your whole inhale to come forward. Mm, sage smells so good, exhale, downward facing dog. Good, inhale, rock to the front of the mat. Let's hold here. So your inner heels are gonna root back Send your heart forward, glide your shoulder blades down and back. Breathe in here. Imagine a little fire underneath your belly on your mat. So you're really drawing your navel up and in. I see so much in class, people doing plank like this. Really almost think of rounding your low back here. Good, last breath. Exhale, lower all the way down to the floor. Inhale, little baby cobra. And then as you exhale, stay lifted. Now lift your arms off the mat. Good, three breaths here. Press your hips into the floor, get your heart a little higher. Good, and then we'll just take this in a movement. So we're gonna exhale, come on down, forehead to the mat. Inhale, come on up, maybe lift the arms up, palms up. Good, exhale, forehead. Inhale, come on up. Good, inhale. And exhale, come on down. This time shift all the way back to child's pose, whatever child's pose feels good to you. So you can have the arms long, hands alongside the hips. Just move the hips from side to side. Good, and then inhale to all fours. We're gonna just ripple through an up cat. This is just all about joy and feeling good. Exhale, down cat round. Good, inhale, up cat. Mm, exhale, down cat round. Good, inhale, up cat. Exhale, press back to downward facing dog. Maybe keep the knees bent. See if you can rest your torso on your thigh bones, knees deeply bent. So you're just going for that. Lengthen the spine, send the tailbone higher towards the sky. Good, and then straighten through the legs. Walk towards the top of the mat. Mm, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Good, inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up, or just reach up. Mm, exhale, press the air away. Good, inhale, palms up, press down through the feet. As you breathe out, fold. As you breathe in, come into your flat back, half lift. As you breathe out, step the left foot back in space, come into a runner's lunge. Good, inhale, take the hands to the hips. As you exhale, come on up to your high lunge. Front knee is deeply bent. On your inhale, reach the arms up. On your exhale, hover forward. We've done this before. Good, inhale, reach up. Mm, exhale, hover forward. Inhale, reach up. 
Mm, exhale, hover forward. This time, interlace your hands behind your low back, bringing the heels of your hands to touch if you can, and inhale, lift yourself up, roll the chest open. Huge, deep in breath. Send that fist towards your heel. Keep bending through the front knee. We're here for three. Really inflate the body with your breath. Two. Mm, last one. Hands to the floor. Listen carefully. Left hand down, right hand up. We're sneaking in a little easy twist here. Exhale, right hand to the floor. Step it back for plank. Mm, chaturanga or lower all the way to the floor and do cobra once again. Good. Back to downward facing dog. Find your inhale and your exhale. Good. Gently walk the feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale, circle the arms down, around, and up. Reach up. Exhale, press the air away, hands by your sides. Good. Inhale, reach up. Mm, exhale, fold forward. Breathe in, half lift, find your flat back. Exhale, step the right foot back in space, find a runner's lunge. Good, inhale, press your heart forward, get that back right leg stick straight. Exhale, hands to your hips. Inhale here, come on up to your high lunge. Good, exhale and bring the arms now up alongside the ears. Really press through that back right heel, stay super strong. Inhale, opening across the chest. Exhale, hover. Good, inhale, reach up, squeeze your inner thighs together for balance. Exhale, hover. Good, inhale, reach up. Mm, exhale, hover. This time, clasp the hands. See if you can take the opposite interlacing of the hands, press the heels of your hands towards one another, and then just send the fist down and then lift the fist away from your leg. So notice if you're sending it down, but it's sort of down here. See so if you can also lift it so you get a big stretch in the shoulders. We're here for three. Notice if your um, left hip is kind of out to the side, like mine likes to tend to do. See so if you can narrow it towards your midline. Breathe into the chest, just receive breath. Breathe in way bigger than you think you can. Last breath. Exhale, hands to the floor. Easy twist, right hand down, left hand up. Mm, and exhale, plank, mm, chaturanga, or all the way to the floor, or skip it. We're in downward facing dog. I want you to walk your hands all the way back towards your feet. Good, so you're standing forward, fold back of the mat. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Take your hands behind your back, interlace the fists once again, bend the knees deeply, chin into chest, Big shoulder stretch. Just let the shoulders open. And notice if the shoulders are up by the ears. You wanna drag your shoulder blades down your back and then maybe work on straightening the legs. So gravity gets to have your head and your jaw and your upper body, but gravity does not get to have your shoulders. Glide the shoulders up towards the ceiling and then send the fist higher and then forward. Last breath. Good, exhale, walk the hands out to plank pose. Good, find your plank, get solid. Lift the left toes off the mat. Exhale, draw knee to nose. Lengthen left leg behind you. Good, exhale, knee to nose. Good, and then kick the leg high to the sky. Bend the knees, stack the hips. Mm, big breath in. And then walk your hands back to your feet once again. And you can keep the leg bent and just get a nice stretch in this left hamstring. Or those of you who want to work on straightening the leg and work on your standing splits, you can do that as well. Always great to have blocks underneath your hands here too. We're here for three, two, one. Drop the right foot to meet the left. Sink low into your chair pose. Mm. Breathe in, wrap the inner thighs towards one another. Sink a little bit lower. Good, and then it's all about the heart here. Inhale, reach up. Mm, exhale, fold. Good, interlace or uh, clasp opposite elbows. I want you to just sway from side to side. 
And then we're going to take this into sundial pose, which to me is one of the most joyful feel-good poses that exist. So I'm going to face you so you can see me better. You're interlacing opposite elbows, rest the head. You're just going to take the right elbow to the right knee, and you're going to come up through a side bend with your head in this little frame. So just come all the way up. It should feel like a nice side body stretch. Inhale and exhale. Come on down the other side. Good. So you're just like a little sundial. Bend the knees, right elbow to right knee, mm, coming up through this side bend. So really press the upper body back as you come up through the side bend. Get a little more lift and then down through the opposite side. So instead of coming forward, try to stay back. So you're going to get a bigger stretch on the side body. Third and last one on your own. Mm, again, you always want to keep the knees micro bent. Oh, and then come to the bottom. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Good. Walk your hands out to plank pose. Mm, point the left toes off the mat. Exhale, knee to nose. Draw it in and, and straighten. Good. Draw left knee to nose and straighten. Last time, draw knee to nose and straighten. And now you're going to walk your hands back to your right foot. And you can keep the knee bent, you know, if you're just starting out. Or you can have hands on blocks. Or you can straighten the left leg if you just want that juicy hamstring stretch. And then, of course, level three, you can balance if that's of interest. Level one, just hands on the ground. Wherever you are, let your breath flow. Big breath. Good. And then exhale. We're coming into chair pose. Get low. Get way lower than you want to. You almost take seat to heels. Breathe in. Breathe out. Really fire up the breath. Hear the breath. Good. And then inhale. Heart explosion of joy to the ceiling. Good. And then exhale. Fold. I turn because I want to face you for our sundial opposite direction. So inhale. Half lift. Exhale. Fold. Hold opposite elbows. So you can take the opposite interlacing. Bend the knees. Sway to side to side. So it's just like you're getting your momentum. Good, and then it's left elbow to left knee. We're going to come up through a big sundial. Mm, and then exhale down the other side. So just let this movement be about feeling good, about really opening the heart at the top. Remember to send the upper body back. Send the elbows back in space. The elbows around your face. Send them back in space. Good, and last one on your own. Mm. Good, and then down at the bottom, inhale, half lift, exhale, fold, good, and then inhale, walk the hands out, your choice to move through plank or chaturanga or to skip it, good, well, I'll meet downward facing dog, breathe in, find your plank pose and hold, exhale, drop the knees to the ground, inhale, heart lifts, up cat, Exhale, down cat round. Good, last time, inhale, up cat. Mm. Exhale, down cat round. Good, we'll take a little toe stretch. Curl the toes underneath you. You're gonna sit back on your toes. Make sure to flick your pinky toe forward because it can sometimes get stuck. Little stretch for the toes. Just hands to prayer. Mm. Breathing in. And level two, three, if this is really easy for you, you can evolve it into a balance, right? And take it here. Level one, two, just stay here. It's a big stretch for most of us. And breathe into the space of your heart. So feel your chest rise towards your thumbs. Exhale all the way. Mm, last breath. Mm, exhale. Good, let's take a seated meditation to close. Make sure to prop yourself up uh, for your meditation. If you need a little elevation, which most of us do, you can grab a cushion off the couch or think about investing in a little um, meditation cushion. We're gonna take Lotus Mudra for this meditation. So how that works, it's really easy. You're just gonna seal your pinky fingers and your thumbs together with your fingers open like a little lotus flower. Take the thumbs right into the heart area. And close your eyes. The rest of the fingers are 
open or they can lightly touch one another, just whichever feels best for you. Just hear your breath. Hear the energy and the currency that you've created and just know that your body is an expression of joy. Your practice can be an expression of joy. And that our connection with our physical body is its own relationship, which is joyful if we choose to view it in that lens and express it that way. Imagine a ball of glowing light at the center of your heart. So as you inhale, the light gets brighter. As you exhale, it gets wider, larger. It sort of aura expands. Inhale brightness. Exhale, the light just diffuses, getting wider and bigger and longer. Now feel this ball of light inside your lotus mudra. So feel the ball of light really inside your hands, just inhaling again, it gets brighter. Exhaling, the light expands, gets larger and wider until this light becomes as large as your hands. So your hands can barely contain it. Light is shining out through the fingers. With your eyes closed here, just feel this expansion of energy, of light, as it grows and grows, so it's as wide as your shoulders, and as wide as your knees. And just now feel your whole being encapsulated in this golden orb of light. Joy is emanating from your heart and through your hands into this brightness that is glowing up the whole room. And now this brightest pinpoint of light that is between your palms, I want you to just press your palms now on top of your chest. So press the right hand to your heart and the left hand on top of it, fusing that light into your breastbone, into your heart center. And this little orb is still large and around you and you're just taking the light, the center of it that you grew between your hands and pressing it back into your heart from which it originated. Feel a shimmer of golden light around your whole body. Good, and then let the hands drop, palms face up on the knees. Just notice how you feel. Dip the chin, pull your groin muscles, your pelvic floor away from the mat or whatever you're sitting on. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Slowly open your eyes, take in the color of your mat or the floor. I hope this sequence has left you feeling more light and more joyful. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so, so much for practicing with me. Remember, you can get details on every prop and everything that I'm using in these videos if you expand the description bar or look at the description below this video. Many thanks to Yoga Outlet for making this video and this challenge possible and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to support free yoga online from my little joyful light and my heart and my home to yours namaste
Thank you.